I should mention with the configurations of this ballpark, between the 20s, there is practically no wind. Bernie Ruoff before the game said, can you believe it? It's like summer out here. He says there's no wind at all. Outside, you get Toronto number 76. First down repeated. But he said when you get to the end zones, then the wind picks up, so we will see more passing probably, Pat, around the center of the field. First and five, Hamilton from the Toronto 41-yard line. Rock going deep to a wide open Shepard. Touchdown, Hamilton. What a beautiful pass right on the money to Johnny Shepard. Well, all questions for the Hamilton fans in the stands here. As you saw their reaction, Johnny Shepard just a little out and up down the sidelines. They fooled the Argonaut coverage. Not able to get over in time. Johnny Shepard, 41 yards into the end zone. I think that shows you how Dieter Brock's back is feeling. He put that ball right on the money. He threw three times. He completed three of them for 59 yards and a touchdown. And with 12 minutes and 20 seconds left to play in this opening quarter, the Tie Cats have shocked the Argos. 7-1. to one. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, what a play. A thousand-yard man. And he starts this game with a big touchdown. Johnny Shepard, congratulations. Thank you. Tell me about the play. Well, he's sitting on a wheel pattern, and the defensive back came up, and I was able to get behind him and beat him. Dieter throw a good pass. Well, Dieter didn't show any signs of a bad back on that play, John. He's ready. Good he's ready. You. All of us ready. Good for you. All right. Jack Townsend finally decides to pick it up inside the 10. He was hoping that the ball would roll out of bounds, but Ruoff's ball just died at about the nine-yard line. Townsend then was forced to pick it up because, of course, it's live, and Argos are pinned deep in their own territory. Well, there's a look at how Toronto will start this ball game. Conrad Holloway will start at quarterback. But in the event that he doesn't get it moving, you'll see Joe Barnes in a fine receiving core. Both teams, as a matter of fact, possess outstanding talent at that particular aspect of their game. From their 14-yard line, the Argos begin. This is Greer. And Greer had trouble controlling the ball initially. As a result, the Ticats were able to quickly move over there and contain him to an advance of maybe a yard. Well, Pat, these fellows are going to have to get some pressure on Conrad Holloway today. Grover Covington leads the team throughout the season in the sack department. Greg Gary will not be in the ball game. They are going to go with six defensive backs, consistently double coverage. Terry Greer will see you all afternoon. It is second and nine. Toronto at their 15. Holloway is going deep for Townsend. No good. Michaelisic stands at his goal line to boot on third and nine for Toronto. They trail seven to one. The Cats score the touchdown on their opening drive. High to the sidelines and look at this ball. It's back to the 20. Fields. Fields gets it up over the 35 to the 37-yard line. But what a tremendous punt of about 80 yards. Cedric Linder, you have stated that you expect this to be a war today. I certainly do, and I guess you can see right now the way the game's going. The guys are, Hamilton's pretty fired up, we're pretty fired up, and they're out there really uh, you know, trying to intimidate us right now. Do you think that this wind will be a factor? It's definitely a factor, especially on the punt returns. Uh, you just saw Hank Elizabeth boom one, and uh, that ball just carried Howard Fields couldn't catch it, so that's going to be a definite factor in this game. Thank you, Cedric. Thank you. 